this is my 2014 Tundra. Uh, I've had it about a year now. Uh, I just wanted to talk about the uh, snow tires I put on and also, you know, the rest of the setup. Um, the snow tires are 33 inch, uh, 275, 70, 18. They're Cooper Discover MS. Uh, I had them on here for this last winter. It was a pretty bad winter um, in Pennsylvania, and you know, they did really good. Um, but I've had some questions about, you know, do I have a leveling kit, lift kit, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. So a, a little bit about, about this setup. Uh, I didn't go with a full leveling kit, like the 3-1 Toy Tech, something like that. What I did was I went with the Bilstein 5100, uh, and I have the front set on the middle perch. Um, it gave me about two inches up front, and in the back, I actually have the Firestone Ride Right airbags. Uh, the reason I actually put them on first, because I do a lot of towing, and sometimes the towing's on the heavier side, probably more than I should even be towing, but occasionally I have to tow 12, 14,000 pounds, and it gets, it gets a bit heavy back there, so, um, I don't do that often, I don't do it very far, but also I don't want to trash my leaf springs when I do have to do it, um, so, and, and that towing consists of a, a dump trailer. Sometimes I put a small backhoe in it, and, uh, you know, the tongue weight can get a little heavy. So, the, the, I've had those Firestone airbags on a previous truck, really liked them. Um, that's what I have on here. So, the Bilstein 5100s up front on the middle perch gave me two inches, and the airbags on the back give me, I just keep them at like five pounds when I'm not towing, and they give about a half inch to three quarter inch in the back. So the truck actually measures dead level with the two inches up front and the half to three quarter inch in the back, measuring from the, the wheel to the fender well. Um, it, it's sitting dead level right now. Uh, the reason I didn't go up higher as well, for one, because I, I needed to do the airbags, so, um, you know, that, that was enough right there. I also put a lot of stuff in and out of the back of the truck, so I just don't want to go up any higher than this. But uh, also, you know, they are the factory steel wheels. Um, it's just a base model truck that I bought, but um, I was just goofing around with some spray paint, spray painted them, uh, center caps. But uh, I also have wheel spacers on to give it a wider stance. I hate the way the tires sit all tucked under. Um, so since these are only going to be my winter wheels, uh, I, I have wheel spacers on. I got them from a company out, out in the Midwest. They're, you know, USA made. He makes them there in a machine shop. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to come back to that. But um, they're inch and a quarter wheel spacers. Uh, and those bring the wheels out, you know, pretty flush. Pretty flush with the fenders there. Um, you yeah, know, gives it a pretty good look. So that's, that's my winter setup. Um, I want to do this video because I'm getting ready to pull these off and I have a, a real spiffy set of wheels. I just got in from Tire Rack with, with the, uh, the new BFG All Terrain 2s, KO 2s. And I got them in a, in a kind of an odd size. They're actually 34 and a half inch. And I got a set of 20 inch wheels from Tire Rack and all that stuff's going on tomorrow. So I'll, I'll do another video when I get that stuff on. But um, I think the size on them is 285, 65, 20, I'm pretty sure. Which comes out to 34 and a half inch. These are 33s. Uh, I couldn't really find snow tires any bigger than that to go on an 18 inch wheel. So that's why I ended up with them Coopers. They did really well. And I will have my new set on tomorrow, and I'll do another, another video and post it. Uh, thanks.